You can call them climate refugees. They used to live on the coast until their homes were eaten away by rising seawaters. Now they live in the city. Under the sweltering heat, they make bricks. The chimneys ink the sky with pollution. The air is toxic. It's hard to breathe. Hundreds of brick factories surround the capital. Taka's air quality is 10 times worse than the standard set by the World Health Organization. The capital is also the fastest growing city in the world, with a thousand people moving here every day. And on every street corner, there's a new construction site. We cannot stop this production, but we must transform this production system into a process which is more congenial to the society and also to the physical environment. The UN and the Asian Development Bank are using $72 million of aid money from Japan and European countries for a project that makes the production of bricks much cleaner. Here, there are no chimneys. Instead, bricks are made underground and the carbon dioxide stays there, where it helps to dry them. It's still a tough job, but workers can breathe much easier. But so far, only a few factories have adopted this green technology. This factory produces more than 70,000 bricks a day. They're cheaper to make and more environmentally friendly. So why aren't traditional brick makers using this technology? Why should we change the oil? We make bricks. These green bricks factories were introduced in China and India, but no one brought it. We don't believe in this green project. I think it's a way for some people to make money. The donors to this project are some of the world's major polluting countries. They can claim the amount of carbon dioxide emissions saved here as their own. It's called carbon trading. Bangladesh is already one of the lowest carbon emitters in the world, and yet it is already feeling the effect of global warming. By producing cleaner bricks, it may set an example for richer countries to follow. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Dhaka.